Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a uh, splash screen for your game. I'm just going to go back to uh, where we were, and sorry, I'm just going to share a screen here. And um, now, if you have the three layouts, that's looking good. Uh, we can put a start screen and an end screen. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll just duplicate layout three for lack of a better one. And we're just going to go end screen right there. And then if I duplicate layout one, and then I can just go start. We'll put them at the bottom anyway. And what you can do is actually drag your layout up right there so that the start screen is on top of layout one, two, three, and then you have end screen. So what I'm gonna do here is that we're actually gonna zoom in. Um, so if you see the top left of your screen, uh, there's this little dotted line right here. And that is an example of where the game would start if the character wasn't in it. So you have to make double sure you're on your start screen. Remember that it's not guaranteed. You have to look at your tabs. I'm going to click close layout three, layout two, layout one, then I'm going to go to start. So this is, I know the start screen for sure because no other layouts are up. And then what you have to do, the game will automatically center on the player character if it's in screen. So you just have to delete the player out of this instance. And then um, you can sort of construct, actually, let's leave that. You can sort of construct what you want your splash screen to look like. So it's going to open on this screen. And that doesn't look the best. We'll provide a little bit of a bottom there. And then I'm just going to arrange these so that they're sort of symmetrical. I have room for the title in the middle. And do we have a text tool here? I think, and then text to right here. Plugin. There we go. So you double click it. I'm going to go, um, boy looks for love. That's my game. So I'm going to pull this out right here. And um, object type properties. There we go. Size 60, bold, and maybe yellow, because it's green boy. All right. Well, I didn't change anything. I did that not change. Oh, I go okay, and I'll close it. There we go. That's way too big. Um, 30. And okay. So that's what I have for my home screen. You can sort of um, do different graphics. And then I'm going to go make another text object. So I right click, insert new object. I go back to text again. And then add my text variables, color. And then Enter to start. Okay, 
So now I have uh, my titling, some of my elements there. Um, and what I'm going to do is go to the event sheet and throw in some code. So the more complicated way of doing this is to create a new event sheet and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then um, have it separate attached to the page. But just to do it very simply, we would just go add event keyboard and then on key pressed, so I could just hit uh, click to choose, can't be detected, enter, okay. Enter. So keyboard on enter pressed, add action, system, go to next previous layout, next, done. So again, when I did that, I went add event keyboard, and then I went on key pressed. And if you click to choose, then it's on below because enter can't be detected if you just press it. So you have to click in that bottom dialog, okay? Um, but that means that once I'm at my start menu, if I load it, There we go. Move where this will love. I hit enter and then I'm in my game. And then let's just see if I can get through my levels now. Okay. I'm on level two. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Well, we've already uh, determined that I can't beat my own game. But then the same thing, you would do the same thing for end screen. So um, I know I'm, now I double click my end layout. I have end right there. Delete player out of there. And then I'm going to right click, zoom in a little bit. And So you can put whatever message you want. I'm being pretty boring and conservative because this is sort of a general class demo for all of you guys. But you can put any silly thing you want. You can say whatever you want to a little. And uh, if we, you ever publish the game, then other people will see it, right? So um, now I have my start sheet and, uh, sorry, layout and my end layout. And that's as far as we're going to go in this lesson. The next lesson will be enemies. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this video short and then I'll show you how to do enemies in the next video, okay? Uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Okay,